Hey there, I'm Trayson, and in this video we are checking out this sweet office chair. There are so many options for good office chairs these days, and if you're looking for a good mesh chair, let's check this one out. Not terribly long ago, I had this whole setup at a table, and I was just in a table chair, and I would get really uncomfortable even after just a half an hour of working there. So my solution at the time was to buy a purple chair pad, and that did help me for a while, but I couldn't wait to upgrade and get a real nice office chair. So I've been in this chair for over six months now, and it has been fantastic. I love this thing. My booty has had no complaints, and I've even pulled all-nighters to finish projects and sat in this thing the whole night, and it felt just fine. When I started shopping for chairs, I was a little overwhelmed at how many options there were. There seemed to be a lot of good ones, so to help me narrow my choices down, I came up with a little list of things that I really wanted. My main goal was that the chair be mesh, because I'd had a lot of experience just sitting in regular cushioned leather back chairs, and if your butt or back get hot, it's just uncomfortable and it's really hard to keep working in that condition. So for me, mesh was at the top of the list. Now I did find some chairs that the back was mesh, but the seat was still a cushion with whatever material, and I just figured that probably wouldn't cut it for me. I'm sure I wanted more than that, so I kept looking. Now there are some really nice chairs out there, but they're around $1,500, and that was way out of my budget. Now I also found some cheap chairs under 100 bucks, but I figured long term those probably wouldn't last, so I was willing to spend a couple hundred dollars, maybe a few hundred dollars, to get a solid chair that would last me a long time. I did a lot of in-store and online shopping. I'd find something I'd like online, try to find a similar one in store that I could physically see and touch and try out, and I just wasn't finding a good match. And a buddy of mine actually got this chair and it was recommended to him through his chiropractor. Now I've been trying to have better posture lately, so hearing that a chiropractor recommended this chair really was a plus in its favor. I know that's something we all can do better on, so I was definitely willing to look into this chair for that reason. It's full mesh from top to bottom. It's got a headrest, which a lot of chairs don't, and that part's even adjustable on this thing. The armrest can adjust up and down, which is nice, and something that I also wanted. And I liked that the back was made up of two parts to offer more support. It wasn't just one solid back like most of the chairs I was seeing. Another item that was on my list is I wanted a chair with good tilt. In case I'm ever gaming or watching a movie or something, I want to be able to lean back and enjoy that. I've got a high mounted monitor, so I wanted to be able to take advantage of that. This thing seemed to mark every item off my list, and it was only $200, which was a huge drop in price after seeing a lot of those chairs over $1,000 that had similar features. So I figured I would give it a shot. So I read some reviews that people's legs would fall asleep due to the outer part of the frame. So when I was assembling the chair, I just made sure the back was extended as far back as it would go and I haven't had any issues with my legs falling asleep. So I don't know if that's the solution or maybe it just depends on how tall you are, I'm not sure, but it's been fine for me. My legs have never fallen asleep in this chair. One thing I was hoping for in this chair is that the lower lumbar support could be adjusted. Now it does have some give to it, but it's not actually adjustable, but I've actually ended up having no problem with the placement it's in. The headrest is adjustable. You can adjust its height and angle. And I've got it set to when I'm leaning back, it perfectly cradles my neck and head. And I gotta tell you, if this thing had a footrest, I'd probably fall asleep in it. It's so comfortable. The height and the tilt are controlled by the same lever you're used to feeling on all office chairs. Obviously, you lift up on the lever to adjust the height or to lower it. And the tilt is adjusted by pulling out or in on that bar. Pushing it in locks the tilt, pulling it out lets you go back and forth. Now the in and out movement is not very big and you might have to adjust yourself in the seat, but you should hear a click when you lock the chair. Now I typically leave it unlocked, and there's enough tension in the chair that I, it will ease back just a few inches, and it's actually a really comfortable position, and I only lock the chair when I need to stay in roughly the same position, such as right now when I'm filming these videos. I don't want a lot of give in the chair, I wanna stay in my same spot. Now there is one thing that I do not like about the chair, and that's the rotation of the armrests. Now I do like that you can rotate them, but they rotate a little too easily and you can't lock them in place. So if I'm ever leaning or something like this, I hit that armrest and it rotates. You might have heard it click, but yeah, they just, 
they move super easily. So that is something that I don't like. Aside from that, I have loved this chair. Now they do offer a few other color options. I went with black, it matched my setup perfectly. It even has some chrome accents, which again, really tied in well with my setup. They've got a red and a blue, a black, and I forget what the other one is, but I'll leave a link down below. You can check them out and leave me a comment about something you like from this chair. I love to read your comments. I reply to all of them. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in the next.